Hey y'all, um, welcome to this episode of Thoughts of Rambler Mind. Today's video is going to be about Dr. Dre. If you're not familiar, he's a f rapper, a legendary producer, um, original founding member of NWA, um, former owner of Beats by Dre. Um, yeah, and the story right now that's burning up the media is that his 48-year-old daughter is claiming to be homeless and living out of her car. She has four children, and they um, have been staying at friends' houses and crashing other places in order to make make a way for themselves. Um, social media is up in arms. I've saw a lot of people giving Dr. Dre backlash because he, of course, is a billionaire, and they don't see that his daughter should be homeless. Um, I had this discussion with someone who I truly respect her opinion and her views. And we uh, we have different views on the subject. So what I'll do is I'll give you my view and I'll give you her view. And I think that both of you, sorry for the glare, y'all just turn around so y'all can see me better. I think that both views are um, valid. I think mine is a little bit more right though. Um, so... I'll give you her view because she's in agreement with the backlash. Um, but she's in, in agreement with the backlash for different reasons than what the backlash, what, what the masses are saying, right? Um, she, of course, is a woman. Um, she claims that she's working class. I say that she's a little bit more than working class. You know what I'm saying? But she's got, she's, she's in a position in life where she doesn't want for necessities. I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, and she's in a world where many people um, do not want for necessities. So her perspective from the world of the haves is that even if you want nothing to do with your child, as a billionaire, you can still set your child up in a way that they're not homeless and still be punishing them, right? Because Dr. Dre, as a billionaire, can remove so many levels of luxuries from his daughter without her being homeless that she'd probably want to die, right? Um and I think that's a valid point. You know, I think that a billionaire has that has raised his child to um, be comfortable and used to a certain lifestyle, um, just like alimony is created for for ex wives. I think that um, it's a valid statement to say that by keeping your daughter and your grandchildren from being homeless, keeping the children and grandchildren of the great Dr. Dre from being homeless, but still restricting them to a certain dollar amount that is not befitting of the Dr. Dre bloodline would be, um, would be suffice or sufficient. Um, I can see that in, in a lot of cases, right? I happen to not believe that this case is one of those cases. Um, I believe that we're talking about um, a really severe case of entitlement. And when you have a severe case of entitlement, you have no choice but to cut people off severely. Um, we're first going to address the fact that her claim is that she was cut off in 2020. I mean, she lived 48 years of her, or 47 years of her life with a billionaire forefather, with a billionaire's allowance, with a billionaire's lifestyle. And one year after the billionaire stopped taking care of her, she and her children were homeless. That says a lot about her character. That says a lot about her drive, her ambition, her pride, or the lack thereof. Also,
I think it's completely unfair and a completely delusional situation when a 48-year-old woman is blaming her father for the conditions of her life and the conditions of her children's lives. I believe that a father is to I believe that a father is responsible for their children. But I don't think a father is responsible for his adults, if you understand what I mean. This woman is not a child. Ironically, although at this point of her life, I don't think that any woman should be homeless because a man is not participating in their life. I do wonder why she's blaming her father and the children's grandfather for not taking care of her and her children. I do wonder why she doesn't think that it was the role of their father to keep them from being homeless. It wasn't the role of their father to make sure she wasn't homeless. Now, it's no man's responsibility to make sure that a woman is not homeless. But there are men, many men, um, who take it upon themselves to make that their responsibility. Usually, you get that type of man when you wait until you have a wedding ring before you have a child. So, there are a lot of bad decision making that has happened in this young lady's life or a grown woman's life. What I will say is that a billionaire has the right, a millionaire has the right, and a poor person has the right to do what they want with what is theirs. Um, I don't believe that Dr. Dre woke up one day in 2020 and decided he wasn't going to pay all her bills. I don't believe that he just started off from giving her the millionaire lifestyle and cut her off cold turkey to zero dollars. I cannot speak on what I don't know, but it seems to me a lot more likely that this is a long time of entitlement and disrespect and ungratefulness. Because those characteristics are the only characteristics where I can see not wanting to help your child in a time of need when it would cost you nothing to do so. So I pose a question to you guys, right? And the question is, do rich people have the right to cut their children off? Do rich people have the right to say, you know what? That's it. I've given you enough. I will not be giving you any more. I think we all agree that they do. I feel like they do. And if we agree that rich people have a right to cut their children off, then I guess the next question is, what do we consider cutting a person off? Because in my book, cutting a person off is, don't call my phone. I won't answer. Don't ask. The answer will be no. Doesn't matter what you're going through. I don't want to hear it. And when a father gets like that about not just his child, but his daughter. I don't know what position she falls in, but at 48, she has to have been one of the elder children. When a father gets like that about his daughter, there's been a lot of rope given. And unfortunately, it seems like she may have hung herself. And I don't have sympathy for children of billionaires that blew their opportunities. Hey? I got to make something out of nothing for me and my kids. And I ain't got a billionaire daddy. And if I did have a billionaire daddy, I promise you, I would not be homeless. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Those are my thoughts of a rambling mind. And I'm out.